So in this episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reviewing Todoist 10. This is the latest update from Todoist, and it's an app that I use quite a lot of my day. So I really do want to spend some time focusing on what is different, what isn't being improved, and how everyone is going to maybe get a better experience from this kind of thing. So what I'm going to do to start off with is actually turn off my Do Not Disturb so that no one can kind of focus in on this one. So essentially what has changed is it's become a bit more... Um, intelligent, it's become a bit more um, design focused and the experience has got a bit more gesture based. So I'm going to start off with with going into the themes and this is what I mean by being able to personalize it. You can choose out of the bag a theme that you want to go with your productivity system. So here I've just chosen yellow um, and I quite like yellow actually, I might keep yellow uh, and that looks quite nice actually. So essentially they've made the experience a lot more open and a bit more kind of personalized to your productivity. So I'm going to stick with yellow. Um, one of the most amazing features when I talk about intelligence and one that I'm really happy to kind of start using is this. So straight out of the bag, if I tap plus, which means to add a task, I can immediately add a task. So I could say, um, meeting with Bob at 4 p.m. tomorrow, and I've, I've, I mean, I've spelt 4 p.m. wrong, um, it weirdly there, and I'm literally just going to tap this one, and it brings up the information. So it's already brought up um, meeting with Bob. It hasn't put it in a project, but it's given me the 2nd of April tomorrow, and 4 o'clock, and it's also. I can just save this and it adds it straight down to here, which is really, really useful. I found this pretty useful. I've actually pl played around with a lot of stuff. So I put, um, do 10 press ups at 9 a.m. every two days and it's managed to already schedule that in, which is pretty cool. The only problem I see with this is that when I do do that, it brings up a second screen. Um, it allows you to verify it, but kind of don't want to do that sometimes, kind of just want to get on. Uh, maybe that's a tip that I haven't actually taken into account, I've just been playing around with this. But, I mean, apart from that, the gestures are very cool. I mean, you can break open a task. Oh, sorry, I just got a, uh, an email there. Uh, if you can, you can break open a task, which is pretty cool, and you can add some information straight on it, so that you don't, I mean, you don't have to, like, so this is my task for today. I can just break open this task and add something right between there, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also go up to the top, select multiple items, search for tasks, which is quite good. I mean, you get this on uh, Todoist anyway, but it's been a little revised. Um, everything looks a bit more fluid. If I scroll down here, the big uh, avatar, like, pulls down, you can sync kind of feels like a social network, it's quite nice. Uh, another addition is when I complete a task, I never used to be able to do this, I can uh, swipe to the left to do it, uh, and I can swipe to the right to change the uh, time on schedule, uh, and that will pop up whenever I need it. So this is really cool, it's intelligent, the design's changed, it looks pretty good, I mean, not much has dramatically changed, but I already feel that uh, this can be add huge value to me. Um, beneficially so yeah so essentially a few tweaks uh really nice design a really nice um i mean the intelligent feature on this is pretty cool um and if you're a brand new user of todoist this is going to really revolutionize how you're going to use tasks um and it's going to save you a lot of time especially with this intelligent feature down here um i mean there's nothing much uh else about the app but the app launch was pretty cool and the way they pushed this has been fantastic there's been no hiccups in the process so i'm pretty happy as a user i mean i get all the same brilliant features i've got just in a more kind of design functional way um if you're first time to do this to, uh, first to do this user this is going to be awesome um but essentially it's been a really good update and i'm very happy um to kind of crack in and check more stuff out and i'm sure there'll be little features along the path where I'll share with you on Twitter. But essentially, Todoist is a fantastic application. It's brilliant and it's available for iOS today, um, Android, web, Mac, etc. All going to roll out very soon. But thanks very much for watching my video, guys. And I hope it was useful. I mean, start using Todoist if you haven't. And uh, definitely follow this channel. Thanks.